Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just... still getting your guys' sheets sent over to oh, you. I know, I need... This? Yeah. She's just going to record them as, like, an uh, audio. Yeah. And my screen. Uh, okay. Okay, and I guess... Do that? I mean, if you want... If you want... Yeah, I'm probably not. I don't know how much I'm going to get, so you can... I can do half, and you can do the other half. Okay. If you want to. Because I don't know how much of this it will record. Because my you, phone... Uh, overall, your character, your, you can do more damage than that and stuff like that. And you have a higher, um, you have a higher modifier for your attack-based mod. Yeah. Because hmm? uh, she has a strength-based weapon. And you have a strength-based weapon, too? Actually, all your weapons are strength-based, I think. Yeah, they're all strength-based. Nice. Hmm. Your, because your longbow is strength-based. I'm going to go check on the babies. I hear um, them crying. Your scythe is heavy. And your club is heavy. They're all heavy weapons. So what is what are my modifiers? Um, your bow, since you are. Um, or like, what what am I stacking? Wait, at? Yoda fell on the floor. And actually, came up. actually, now I'm thinking about it. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, your longbow is dex. Yeah, I. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought, I'm gonna write uh, down I mean, my. I forgot since it's, it's, it's like one of the very few dex-based heavy weapons. Strength is 15. Um, you have a plus 6 with your yes. longbow. The hit. Yeah. And you have a plus 4 your damage. Oh, 2. Uh, Dexterity is 12. Plus 1. Constitution is 16. So plus no. 3. Uh, Intelligence is 10. You might want to use some of that. Kind of how I did hers and stuff like that. You Wisdom. can extend this box to be bigger. Oh. Because you can make things... Um, Fit. What I, what I Put them in the wrong first places. Contract, of course not, I did. not everything was you know, stuck next to each other when you look at hers. Everything has more of a spot to it. Yeah. So if you want, you can make your uh, you can make your stuff bigger. Um, because I did kind of say this didn't I in the beginning when I first made your character sheets that I wasn't gonna make you another one. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing it. Then again, I also Stay like doing ahead. crap like this. So. Hmm. Charisma. It's, it reminds me of Chakra, you know, like Charisma and Chakra. Both have like... like here's my definition of Charisma. Think of a sorcerer. Sorcerers are Charisma-based casters. Uh-huh. You know why they're Charisma-based caster? Because they're so sure of themselves. Mm-hmm. They're cocky. They're arrogant. <laughs> they know they can do this. Mm-hmm. It's not like they study to this. It's something they can do. They're, Without... Yeah, it's something they can just do. Um, Whereas, like... Um, I made a sorcerer one time. That Whereas, like, specialized wizards, in, like, they wizards are, are, studied. are based on more yeah, of, like, intelligence yeah, based. intelligence. Yeah. Um, maybe the sorcerer one time. Who, um, mm. because sorcerers, not all sorcerers are born with their magic. Yeah. Some are gained it because of certain things. I mean, a sorcerer was struck by lightning. Oof. And so all his spells, for most of his spells and stuff like that, were based. lightning-based spells. Makes most sense. of his attack spells, I should say. Uh, because he gained his magic through being struck by lightning. Ouch. Hmm. Imagine being struck by lightning, though. Uh, it would hurt. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. So, so strength and wisdom are... Are strength... You have and wisdom as as are... You have, 12, you have 12 strength. Plus 4. That's... Plus 1. That just kind of... Um, you have 18 dex. 13 constitution. Excuse me. I have a 15 strength, bro. 11 charisma. You remember the uh, modifier chart? Wisdom plus 4 hmm. and charisma plus 0. Uh, I imagine just like printing, printing these off. Plus zero. What? Mm-hmm. Uh. Um, and it's like the same thing going backwards. What? It's the same thing going backwards. Ooh, AC is thirteen. Uh, actually, from nine, from nine and eight are negative one. Seven and six negative two. Mm-hmm. Five and four negative three. Um, and um, most creatures can't. Get what's my HP? Three. Well, they're considered brain. Oh it's wow. My HP. Thirteen. One D and then your oh, hit dice right one D ten. One shouldn't I have rolled 
that too. Oh, uh, you guys start with max. Oh, right. Is that so max? So you have 11, so it's 1d10 plus your constitution modifier. Alright. Wait, so you have a lower? He has a lower constitution. So he has What's a lower HP than me? Yes. My... Oh. Your AC is 15. Oh, 11. dang. Yeah. Mine's 13. Yeah, because of your dex. You have a plus one to your so dex. So things need a 15. Initiative. Me, yeah. Where's initiative? Um, oh, found it. I found it's, it. It's usually just your dex modifier. I found it. So yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just your dex modifier unless you have uh, something that improves it. One. So uh, you would have a plus four in your deck to your initiative. Slash. Oh, dang. Attack. Oh, shout. Bruh. I made the words too big. Yeah. Attack. If you guys wanted to and stuff like that, we can spend this first a little bit. We can start camping a little bit and stuff like that. If you guys wanted to, I because I'm just sending you both of your yeah. sheets. If you guys wanted to, you can guys start writing down your stuff. Uh, that's yeah, what I was that's doing. That's what I was gonna do. Um, your character sheets right now the ones I have given you and stuff like yeah. that. Minus whatever you guys have added and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Are just base. Since you guys aren't casters, I didn't give you a spell list. Yeah. Um, you do have a spell, so you would have a spell modifier. Okay. So, that, so you don't have to look at your sheet to think what that is. And you cast your. Oh well, technically thaumaturgy doesn't matter. So your thaumaturgy is a spell that just affects minor things like how bright the fire is and noise and the color of your eyes. That's all thaumaturgy is good for. It. Yeah. It's not for doing much more than like. If you I can, you can project your voice if you need to. Like, if no, I just no. if I decided that I wanted to have different colored eyes today, I'd be like. Hmm. It lasts for a minute. Yeah. So. You'd have to keep that. Since it's a cantrip, you can cast it once every six seconds without uh, without worrying about extending anything. All right. So you have yours. You have yours. I'm gonna go ahead and send the uh, the NPCs to you. So okay. he has the rogue. You have the cleric. Ow. Yep. Zika. Do I have any resistances? Uh. No. Of the, Hellish the resistance. You have a resistance to fire damage. Oh right. I forget you're a tiefling. <laughs> yeah. I was like, excuse me, I see it right here. Dark vision. Oh. Yep. Uh, seen the dark up to, uh, infernal feet. legacy. That's your fun and as you level up and stuff like that, you'll gain more spells. Alright. Hunter's Bane. Mm, what? Checks to track fey, fiends, and undead. Yep. Why? Because that's what blood hunters are was built for. Oh. Crimson right, right of storm. Matthew Mercer built him like that. Itchy, itchy. Yeesh. Chris. Mm. I want you to look at this room. Yeah. Oh my well, I'm, I'm turning it for you, so don't have to move too much. See, this is what I was saying. The rogues got so much extra stuff. Well, technically, these first three, these first four and stuff like that, are his halfling traits, and the second two are his rogue traits. You know, you can actually uh, send me that as PDF and kind of uh, put whatever changes you want on it and send me it, you know, as the PDF so I can use my character sheet and then I That's can what I was going to do. I was going to send you the PDF. I'm sending you the, I'm sending you the characters and stuff like that in PDF. Yeah. So I was letting you know and stuff like that. Like, um, yeah. halflings have lucky and stuff like that. They yeah, can, so they can roll, they can they, roll. when they roll a one or an attack roll, they'll check or saving throw. They can re-roll that dice and must use a new roll. They can do that every turn. Once a turn, every turn. Um, brave. They have advantages on being frightened, so it's harder for them to be scared. Mm. Halfling nimbleus, um, since they're considered small and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you guys are considered medium. Your okay. Your, your character size. Since he's considered small, then you can use his halfling nimbleness and he can move through your spaces even though they're occupied. Oh. He can't land on that space, but he can move through it. Because in mm. most cases and stuff like that, say if it's a two, it's a two character wide hallway and there's two characters in that area and he's a halfling, he can move through it. I can like unlike a normal character. Wow. Um, naturally stealthy. Um, most of the time you can't hide unless you have something to hide with, hide behind and stuff like that. 
um, halflings. Yeah, he can, can just like, kind of duck down, and they can not even that. They can kind of like pass by an object and hide. Yeah. Um, you have sneak attack, so if you can, if you attack while you're not seen, you have advantage on that attack. Well, he does, and then he adds an extra d6 to his damage. And then there's thieves hand. He can understand uh, thieves hidden language, written or spoken. Dang. Hmm. Yeah, apparently if I, like, stay near people for how long? Until I learn their language? You have to be, she has, because of her, um, her background trait, she has to study someone for at least a day to be able to pick up, to pick up on key things, <laughs> to be able to talk to at least that person. Yep. To get the gist of what they're trying to do. Keywords and such. Keywords and Because I'm, uh, like I forgot. No, this guy has a plus seven to hit everything because he's <laughs> fucking he's fucking badass. He's a he's a twenty. He's a badass. He's a plus five modifier for his dexterity. And then he has a proficiency in it, so. Mm -hmm. So he is a so he's expert. He's an expert in stealth. He's a plus nine. To speed, stealth. speed. Means he can never get below double rolls. Unless he rolls a one. The natural one. But then counts, again, the natural one counts as a natural one. Yeah, but then again, it would still be it would still be a ten at that point. You could still roll it again. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> it's a because um a skill check. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Jess. Hmm. I can make any uh ability check, saving throw, or attack roll with advantage. Once per rest. Once per rest. What do you mean? He has a skill called human determination. Oh my. I, uh. <laughs> determination! Because he's a human, he gets his bonus feet, and he saw human determination. Determination! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make. It doesn't help that his character becomes ultra. Oh no. <laughs> ultra Kara, man. <laughs> Kara's gonna kill Sans again. Um, the reason his character. The reason why his character's name is Ultra is he had a name before he was polymorph. But since his polymorph turned him into the four elements, and something like that. Um, okay, he, he, you just jumbled up your words. Four elements, the four elementals and stuff that you can check that he turned into when he was at Polymorph, that his name was forgotten and became Ultra. Okay. Can Since Ultra some? isn't really a human name. That's true. Okay, sure. Same I think. Yeah, if we, if, if, like, if we ever actually play a game together, we have a different DM and I'm playing with you guys, I'll be the best rogue you've ever had. Because that's like the one class I can play all the time. A rogue. Rogues. Because I like hiding. I've, I made a rogue and stuff for the campaign I'm in and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Um. Shush. That doesn't, like, that doesn't I like attacking. Uh huh. Because of his, because of his um, background and what he is. Mm hmm. He's a smuggler. That's why he's proficient uh -huh. in, you know, oh. disappearing. Hmm. Oh my god. You forgot about your, uh, Oh, so, do you know what these numbers mean on your range? Fire! Yeah, they're, um, they're how far away something is going to be that I can use these. Half correct. Um, so, 150, you can hit anything almost accurately at 150 feet. Means you only have to roll once. Um, the number, 600, you can, technically your max range is a 600 foot range. You can hit anything from 600 feet at disadvantage. Hmm. So from 151 feet to 600 feet, you can hit. You can still shoot your bow that far, but you'll have to at disadvantage. But it means you have a long range. The good thing about long bows is that they have a long range. God. So if they're like, oh, you're trying to get away from me. So her. <laughs> Money, money, money. Yeah, so I want to play some. Yeah. How much gold do I have? You have 210. I have five. You have, two, you have 200 from your, uh, from being a blood hunter, and you have 10 from your background. I hope you know that at one point Russ actually tried to give me 40 healing potions. On accident. On accident. And then I took away his cup cups on accident, and then gave him back, <laughs> and then gave him his four healing potions. And <laughs> Dude, you are just 
Because, like, you know what? I'd like it, but, I mean, it's not honest. Yeah. I mean, if anyone gets 40, 40 healing potions, it's the noble cleric. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she has two healing potions. That's clear, so I'll start with much gold. Can I have a piece of cake? Don't ask me. There's nobody else to ask. Oh, and wait. You have toast. Cake is a lie, though. Cake is a lie. Lucy Watanama. By far, still my favorite character I've ever rolled out. Even though. Well, from this for this campaign, mm. I like Zika a lot, but I made Lucy a noble knight cleric. She has her retainers I was talking about um, mm -hmm. that don't do much more than just kind of maintain your guys' stuff. They don't follow you in the combat. If they do follow you in the combat, it's because they have to. Um, don't ever force them to. No. But she's a dwarf who knows how to make beer. Oh, no. And technically doesn't have a single healing spell. Ugh. So if I chose the... Um... Oh, can you explain her to my subscribers? I'll send her to you and you can explain her. Yeah, but I like it the way you explain her. Lucy Warpenhammer. I right, screw this. I'm, I'm doing this. Okay. What? What is he doing? He's gonna, he's gonna get his <laughs> um, Yeah, because it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, the level one dwarf, the hill dwarf cleric, noble background, who... <laughs> I tried to write my golden pen. Because, you know, I'll have 210 forever. Okay. Yeah, so she has, two, she has two attack spells and one healing spell. Quote, unquote, healing spell. Are, you, are we going to have the exact same video, dude? No, it's going to be a tad longer. What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude. Dude. What? What do you mean? How is it going to be a tad longer? It's not going to be longer because I started like 20 minutes earlier than you. 17 minutes earlier than you. Oh, you're... Yes, uh, I've been recording for 17 minutes. Where is my settings? Who oh. knows? Yeah, her only healing spell Which, is called Spare the Dying. Mm. I mean, she can use this spell. It, I it's, a ver it's a verbal and somatic spell. I mean, she's losing her hand and say something. You told me. Um, and yeah. Well, you told me to describe. What? And I was describing. I meant the way you described her when you told her to me. I don't want to. Not yet. No, no, no. How, are you, how am I going to meet these people, by the way? Okay. Uh, I am using the character of the, the, the game book. Okay. Even though I have my <sighs> excuse me. Ah. She actually rolled out very well. Did she? No. She has a sixteen strength, a twelve dex, a sixteen constitution, eleven legend, seventeen um, wisdom, and eleven charisma. Dang. So she has a lot of plus two, plus three modifiers. Yeah. And she's a daughter, so she's resistant to poison, the son of a bitch. Lucy Lucy. He's interested in something like that because she's the only one who has a full last name. Mm. Because all trucks are all kids. Do just I like do I have any armor proficiencies? Because I cannot find anything. Proficiencies. <laughs> oh, I do.
I cannot spell for the life of me. You know, I can temporarily, uh... Light. I can temporarily change my video quality to, like, so that it's ass, but just kind of... Actually, I can actually record up to three hours. Ooh, shit. Three and a half hours. I don't know how long I can record. How do I figure that out? You go to... You, you press on the recorder. No, you... Uh, on the home screen. Oh. You go to the gear. Gear? Oh, you have a different one. Yeah. Uh... I think it's save location. Yeah, save location. Right here? Yep. Two, two hours. Two hours and one minute. Cool. Two seconds. So I'll pause. Oh. Alright, sorry about that pause, guys. We... Wait! I only have two hours. No, I don't have to wait for you. <laughs> Sir. I can do whatever I want. Well, I know. I channel. didn't... It's my channel, too. I Welcome don't really care. Do whatever you want. To the world of Forgotten Realms. <laughs> the Forgotten Realms. Yes, welcome everybody who hello. watches our videos. Yes, hello, uh, my This is a um, Lost, Minds of, Lost Minds of Fandover. Um, it's a pre-written uh, D&D module for anyone who cares or doesn't know. Who um, cares or doesn't know. And today... Are you going to switch screens at all? No. Um. Because I don't have everything. Uh. I forgot what I'm saying. Um, no food at the table. Do drinks count? As long as I have a lid. It has a lid. So, um. Today, our two players, um, Old Trikara and Lone Wolf, will be playing... Dungeons and Dragons, 5th edition. Ish. Ish. It's an old module. <laughs> um, I just kicked a bucket. Here in a little bit, you will find out who they are um, and which um, of the two NPCs that they will be controlling. Um, they will reveal that to you as they reveal themselves as well. So. We start in the city of Neverwinter, the biggest city, the biggest city on the Sword Coast. And our adventurers have been summoned to do a job by uh, an old dwarf friend of theirs, Godred Waxika, to um, escort a wagon to Fandalin. Gundar has already gone ahead, I'm sorry, Gundrin has already gone ahead with, uh, with a, a warrior, uh, Sildar, and has asked you to meet them him there. Uh, you will be paid, the job will be paying you 10 gold a person upon successful delivery. And, uh, you guys meet the edge of town, all at once, as you all were summoned individually or as groups to come do this job. First off, Lone, will you describe your character as they come and walk up to you? Hmm? Wait, I didn't hear the last part. As they come, describe what they see as, pretty much as, dis as the group walks up to you. Okay. Describe your features, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I have a tribal mask covering at least half of my face. Um, and from under it, you can see the slightest little bit of a scar from under my... Help me. Right eye. I'm trying to... I don't know my directions yet! Well, I know my directions. I know that this hand is my right hand. Okay, well, guess what? I haven't thought about that. Anyways, uh, I have horns that curl around to the front of my ears that go from the top of my head, curl back, and just barely come in front of my ears. And they're kind of, I don't remember what color they were. 
they're my skin color, whatever. And I have two different colored eyes. And they can see. Yeah. Can they see those eyes? To sum it up, guys, she's a tiefling. Yes, I am a tiefling. It, I have two different colored eyes. Doesn't matter. Well, uh, what are those two different colors? They're under the, under the I'm mask. trying to. F uh, yeah, they're so under my mask. Nope. Got it. Uh, Where did my description go? I don't think it's on there. Oh, there it is. The only one you can see is my left eye, which is glowing a bright gold. Oh, it is. Okay. Mm hmm well, I have long, straight black hair. Kind of wow. slightly on my shoulders, and the rest is just behind me. And that's it. And I'm pale. Like, really, really pale. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> that's uh, one of the only ways I'm not complete. Okay. Um. The next one can walk up. Um. And I will go ahead and extract this NPC for you guys. Okay. Is this dwarf? Um. This dwarf is a female, from what you can see. Um. And she's, you know, a little over three and a half feet tall, and she's fairly built for a, a dwarf still, considering. Um, she has fair skin, you know, slightly tan because of the sun in the sky, um, and this deep red hair that just kind of just goes back in this just giant, this giant, you know, long hair, um, with her blue eyes that just pierce, um, through with the rest of her off coloring and stuff like that, just these blue eyes that pierce. She needs it. Um, you can see just by her walking, she's got... This scale armor and stuff like that that just covers her from like chin to toe. It's just this scale armor with a shield that's three quarters the size of her body and this hammer that just hangs across her uh, her waist and hip. I mean, behind her is a uh, a younger dwarven male wearing a wearing a chain shirt, carrying his backpack and his little short sword. <laughs> um, and he's just call he's kind of following this dwarf. And uh, a little farther behind and stuff like that, you can see this gnome who uh, seems to be sharpening one of his knives. And he looks to be wearing chef equipment. He, he looks to be her chef. Um, and on her shield, on Lucy's shield, uh, the dwarf, is um, a picture of what you guys would know is the dwarven god Moradin. It's just this anvil with a fire and hammer on it. Sweet lord. And uh, that's what you guys watch. Um, next. Would you like to describe your character, Ultra? Yes. Pretty much, I am a human polymorph. Pretty much I was polymorph for a number of years. We don't need... Not quite sure how long. We don't need to know that, bro. You don't need a, yeah, you don't need a story your backstory. It's a but, description. Yeah, it's your physical description. Uh, pretty much, I have black eyes, pale skin, and hair that pretty much changes color as light hits it, as a side effect from being polymorph. And I have leather armor, I have a scythe, a great club, and a longbow. Very well armed. Yeah. All I have is a sword and a okay. hand crossbow. And, uh, next, kind of like skimpering behind, not too far, um, kind of hard to actually see him. Um, you see behind Ultra, this human ranger, this little half -lady that just kind of follows uh, Ultra around, and it looks like they kind of know each other. When did that happen? Oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, and he's wearing, um, you know, he looks like he's wearing simple clothes and stuff like that with leather attached to it. Kind of dark and like ominous green and ominous greens and woody browns. 
Um, you know, the normal halfling. You know, no, he's a halfling. Exactly, um, that's what green, I said. The normal halfling. He's got these uh, green eyes and stuff like that. Um, looks like they could like blend in with the color of a leaf in a tree. He's a little tanned. Uh, spends a lot of his time outside, from what you can tell, just by looking at him. And what's this um, short, kind of shaggy brown hair that kind of uh, falls short of his eyebrows and stuff like that? That's messy. Um, and he has his. Uh... Sorry about that. I changed my. And he has a short sword over his left hip, a bow with quiver over his shoulders. And two daggers strapped up, uh, parallel to his chest. And, uh, that's who you see following this human. And you all meet up at the cart. The wagon. What are you guys doing? Uh, I guess just stand in so there. So what, what's ahead of us on the trail? The gate. That's the guards, and uh, from what I can tell, I have to relook at the map sometimes. So we're with the cart um, right now. It looks like a uh, looks like a very well uh, made path, um, and you guys can hear. You guys are at the edge of town and stuff like that. So we're entering. You guys are you guys are in town getting ready to leave. Okay. Um, you guys are at the edge of town, and. Uh, you guys would know from being here just even for a couple days, this town was built above a river. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, but yeah, now that you guys have all seen each other, and all have made it to this wagon, this carriage, um, drawn by, uh, by, drawn by one horse, um, and the guards are just kind of waiting to let you out. Just go, I guess. I mean, I don't really want to talk to me, but I don't know. Are you guys on the job, too? Well, let's go. Sure. <laughs> okay. There's nothing else to say. Did you, did your neck pop? Yes. Again. Alright, um, so you guys are... Greek to leave town. It's like you have a recording. <laughs> it's like the recording curse. Every time you try to record, your neck pops. Okay, so, as you guys uh, have been given descriptions for this job, each of you, uh, you guys start to head south. Uh, on a path? On a what seems to be a very well-traveled road. Okay. But it is a path, nonetheless. Okay. So, as a couple of days have passed, you guys traveling this road with this wagon, walking and riding and sitting. Seems to be going smoothly. Uh, nothing has happened so far, but you guys are well aware of how dangerous these roads are. Bandits and monsters and stuff lurking in the shadows. Um, I'm ready with my sword. <laughs> uh, so you guys have... Uh, Um, you guys have given each other your guys' names. Fine, I would have given you guys' yeah. names by now. Um, so you would know the dwarf. His name is Lucy. Her name is Lucy. Um, the halfling, his name is Zika. This human goes by the strange name of Ultra. And the tiefling, I just swear her name is Soren. But... It's kind of odd. Her, her, her accent is like, different. Not not used to it. Um, but as you guys are walking, I need a marching order. What do you mean? 
um, who's where in relevance to the cart? Uh, uh, I'll be closer to the cart and, um, let me try to remember her name. Lucy? Lucy is going to be more in front okay. of me. I, I guess I'll be, like, at the very front of this, and then Vika will kind of be behind me. So we have, um, you have, ultra up front. you have Ultra up front, um, and Zika off to the back a little bit, just not too far, um, and right next to Zika would be a Lucy, and then right in that very back is um, Yeah, with Soren. the cart. Okay. I want to stay close to the cart in case something happens. You guys are all relatively close to the cart. Yeah, just, need to know just like at. closer. I don't want to animate this now, but I know that would be awful if I tried. Well, that's why we have subs. Exactly. Okay. We can animate this for yeah, us. Yeah, if anybody wants to animate this, just hit me up. So you guys have been on the Tribor Trail for like half a day. Um, and as you, uh, as oh, you, uh, no. come around a bend. Oh, no. You spot... Two dead horses sprawled about 50 oh, feet ahead of you. No. Oh, dear. Blocking the path. No, it's not oh dear, it's all a horse. Um, <gasps> each have um, several black feathered uh, arrows sticking out of them. And uh, you would know the woods, the woods press close to the trail here. Mm. Um, with a steep and dead thickets on each side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead of... The entire, like, I'm gonna go ahead of everybody. I'm Wait, just, like, so ahead of us is forest? It's still a path, it's but it's dense. This forest, the, the, forest. The, the, dense, the forest is very dense around this trail. Okay, I'm gonna go um, in front of everybody. Why? That's no. forest is. Um, so you're going ahead of We your... have to go through it anyway. Forest is my terrain, though. I don't care. I don't know. I don't. I barely so know you. Are you, going, you. Are you going up to the horses? Yeah. I'm gonna check what happened. Or at least try um, to see. Obviously, I'm gonna have to roll for perception, which is d20, which oh, no, I wait, can't wait, remember. Wait, wait. This one. Um, roll. Roll an investigation check. Twenty. Seven. Investigation. What? Plus two. Seven, eight, nine. Still not enough. Would I be able to take some of those arrows? No. Okay. Um. As you begin to look over the horses, you get to begin to start being familiar. As you have met the your patron, your dwarven friend, with hitting his warrior. These are their horses. Oh no. Um and you guys start looking and keep looking through. And you notice the saddlebags have been looted. And um, nobody, nobody near, uh, lies nearby um, except an empty leather map case. Uh, uh, I think we should be very cautious. Yeah. Um, what's your guys' passive perception as you guys all begin to walk Passive up? perception? Mine's, mine's 15. You should Give me have brought yours down. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm still working on things, okay? So just give me a second. Uh, Zika's is also. 15. Where is it? It's uh, under check. It's under skills. That's what passive perception is. Uh, it's under skills. Dude, I have no idea where anything is. Okay, uh, yours is 12. 12? Where? It's under skills. Oh, there it is. Right Twelve. There. <laughs> now what's Lucy's? Mm, Lucy. You gotta let it load. Excuse me. That's why I downloaded mine. I did. The, the oh. thing, I did download them, but they won't... It won't load. Oh, you can go to downloads and... Ah. Oh, uh, here it comes. 
Hers is 13. 13. Okay. Um, oh, you guys all have a high enough passive perception for this. Alright. Um, four goblins from jumping oh, goblins. Oh, no. Uh, I'm guessing we need to roll initiative? Yes, because they did not surprise you. What's initiative? Um, it's a d20, d20 plus your plus. 20! I Natural 20! I got okay. five. Okay, That's with. So I, 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 a, I got a natural I one. I got a natural 20. I, want, I rolled a fucking okay. natural one. And I got a natural 20. Yeah, pull <laughs> it. Uh, oh, wait, Lucy and Zika's. Oh, right. Wait, we gotta do Lucy and Zika. Let's let him. We gotta do Lucy and Zika. Okay, well, give me a second. Okay. Um, so you got, um, what's your total initiative? Her total. 12. What's your dex modifier? My your dex de is... Your dex is one. So, 21. So, yeah. But my initiative is plus one. Yeah. yeah. Um, got what? I got a natural one, but <laughs> my initiative is plus four, so I got a five. Okay. Um, now, Lucy and Zika? Zika! Lucy is a... Nine. Uh, nine plus... Okay. Zika got a twelve. Plus his dex, or is that total? That's total. Okay, <sighs> if you could just load faster, she got a nine. That dot nine. symbolizes the bottom, right? Yes. Okay, nine. Plus. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have him up on two different phones because this. That's smart. I have mine on paper and then have the other one just as PDF downloaded. And in my downloads. Alright. Alrighty. What? One second, I gotta go find these goblins. Uh, Alrighty. Plus. I let him find the goblins. Dex is. I should probably. Uh, plus explain. two, so nine, ten, eleven. I should probably explain the picture that these guys are staring at. Sure. Okay, so why are you guys why are you guys waiting for me? I guess up yeah. front we have. She a, got eleven, by the way. Okay, we, we've got four elementals here. We have a fire elemental right here. There's an earth and air. There's an earth and fire, and then an air in the back. What's the earth and air? It's like a storm elemental. Okay, so it's a storm elemental, and then we have a magma elemental. And Scary things. <laughs> yeah. And just think, I was a tiny version of these. You are a tiny version of these. I was. Because don't I? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're a human version of it. He's a human that has traces of his body. Mm. Yeah, it's like corrupted gems. Um, um hey. Okay, those are different because uh, they can be fixed. One minute. You have to give me a second. My computer's dying. You still have the, the scars from that. No, they okay. don't. Um, um, oh, yeah, they do. Pause. Let's do stuff. I have to go grab my stuff. Wait a second. Wait, 30? what's this for? It's percentile dice. Oh. When I ask you guys what percentiles, that's what you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, again, how far are the goblins from us? Roughly 30 feet. You go, you go back to the... Uh, 30 feet. Thing. Okay. Oh, so... Okay. Yeah, so that's. I'm gonna pull out my cross, uh, my hand crossbow. Wait, we don't know if your first goblin could have also rolled a natural twenty and had a higher. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Jeez. Okay, so actually, how it's working is um, two goblins are rushing towards you guys mm -hmm. uh, with scimitars in hand. Mm -hmm. and the other two are standing up thirty foot away with their short bows. Um, Goblins will go first. They're only 19 plus 2 and they have a higher dex. Mm. Um. <laughs> Wait. 19 Jeez. plus 2 is 21 and they have natural a higher dex. But natural turn doesn't worry about uh, modifiers like this. Yeah, but what was your modifier? Plus 1. They, plus both, one. they both have 21. But they have uh, a higher dex. But since they have a high, Yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Even I understood. And I'm um, quite dumb. Okay, so. I'm dumber. <laughs> Are you? 
Yes. Okay. Okay. So make a stupid decision all the time. That's okay. true. I do Back too. to the game. Okay, so we'll move right down there. Help. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm I'm pretty much in perfect range to see what these are, but I'm not gonna, cause I'm I'm fair. Well, you guys understand these are goblins. You know, these look like goblins, and they're not. They're no they, longer hiding. Because they are goblins. Dark. Um. <laughs> So the one, the first one is gonna be one of the ones you're thinking they're um, who's running after it. and Mila is going to go after um, Soren only because uh, she was the first one there. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I would do the same. Does a eighteen hit? Um. Yes. yes. I didn't even have to look, and I knew. Yes, that hits you, Soren. Because mm -hmm. okay. me and Zeke have the highest hit. Oh. So. Okay, three points of damage. Put, put that on a separate sheet. No. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, gonna... uh, I'm just going to erase it afterwards. It doesn't matter. How this, is, how this works is pretty interesting. Um, the other melee mm -hmm. is going to run after... Uh, Big Lucy girl, um, which is standing roughly pretty close to you at this point, um, Soren. You guys are kind of mostly huddled together, except for Zika is kind of standing off a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, that makes sense. And Ultra is probably standing back a little farther. You guys are all roughly five to ten feet from each other. So the other goblin's gonna run up and attack Lucy. Okay. Um, does Nikki hit that? Yes. Her? Yes. No, her AC is 18. Uh, hits. Oh, it does. It still hits. Mm. Oh, wait, so Lucy has the highest AC of all Yeah, it's 18. She's wearing fucking armor. She's well, wearing scale I mean, armor. She has scale armor, plus her dexterity modifier, so, plus her shield. <laughs> so so what's Soren's AC? Mine? Uh, 13. So, Soren has 13, I have Zika has 15, and Lucy Soren has 18. Soren has the lowest AC. Uh, AC. Why? But has some of the, but has the most health. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> How much health does Lucy have? Because I don't know. Uh, 1d8 plus 3, so she has 12, I think. 12? 1d8, that's 11. Yeah. She should be at her hit points, which is right below her AC. Oh, my hit points are right 12. next to my AC. Okay. 12. Oh. Oh, she's up. She has 12. 1d8. Plus four? It doesn't have any Wait, plus, plus four. Oh god. Oh right, she has a shit ton of constitution. Yeah. Oh, plus four? Okay, yeah. So that's... Oh, she takes six points of damage. Oh, sweet So Lord. she's at six, man. Yeesh. That took half her health with one swipe. Uh, yeah. <sighs> These goblins are just... Nasty. One of the fucking guys out there. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. one of the arrows is going to, um, sorry, Soren, you are closest. <laughs> uh, one of the goblins in the back is going to, <laughs> what's your name, <hair>, are you? <laughs> These goblins are nasty. Uh, I'm guessing that they rolled a natural 20. Sure they did. Oh my god, I was actually right. Why? <laughs> Cause Why, you, Lord? Cause you Lord? are closest. I am so sorry. Sweet Lord, you're gonna kill me. Don't worry. You take four points of damage. She takes four points of damage. That's total. So. Ten minus four. Wait. It wasn't What's ten minus four? I don't know. Six. Ten minus four is six. But. So me and Lucy both have six. But. What? Wait. What? What did the goblin roll for damage? Minimum. <coughs> oh. Double. The plus two. Oh, so we're doing the. Yeah, because what we did, red. what we did in our game is homebrew. Mhm. Mm so we rolled a one times two is two plus two is four. Okay, so we're just doubling what we roll as damage. Okay. Um, and the last goblin is going to um fire at Lucy. Mhm. Mm um, so the other two are just too far away for them to hit correctly. And what happens next. if they kill Lucy? Um, 
Oh, no. oh god, she just dies. Lucy just dies. <laughs> well, boy. Even though she's the only healer we have. Him. No, that doesn't hit. Um, he watches this goblin. Shoots an arrow. As Lucy just took a slice. <laughs> oh. She's like, oh no, you don't. Ping, and just like, the arrow like hits the shield and <laughs> splinters. Oh my god. I thought she was gonna like matrix and just go. Oh not yeah. agile. Uh, probably Zika or I could do that. Probably. I can't. Um, that does end the goblin's turn. But you understand you would have to say that, right? Yeah. You'd have to say that you matrixed the other way. It just... Alright, um, that ends the goblin's. That does My turn! That brings us, yes, to Thorin. <laughs> <laughs> so who are, you, who are you attacking? I'm you attacking A or using B? my hand crossbow. Oh, you're yeah, um, attacking C or D. Yeah, you're attacking uh, three or four. Or one or two. There's one in front of you, the one, one that in front of attacked Lucy. Lucy. And then there's two just back. Oh, the one attacked me. Oh, which one? Wait, how Which close? one? Two of them. Did. You said one in front of me, one in front of Lucy. There's one in front of you, one in front of Lucy, and then there the are two. The one in front of me. With your hand crossbow? How close is he? He's five feet. He's in your face. Oh, uh, Katana. Melee. Okay. Yeah. Make, up, make an immediate attack then. 20? 20 plus. So you made 10 plus. Your katana is plus four. So fourteen. Uh no. That does what? you go to swing your katana and it just <laughs> ducks and jumps out of Wait, the way. These these things have nasty. Just ducks out of the way. Fifteen AC? Yes. <laughs> this is it, yo. They are no. they are small. They Can are we like, run? They're, they're is no that way. a choice? What? Do we have a choice to run? Um, they have, um... That's true. They, they have, have opportunity. They have... They're a pack of goblins. Fuck. And you are its prey. And also, <laughs> both you and Lucy are in front of these two in melee range, so mm. if you get out, they have opportunity. Yeah, the two, the two tanky characters are in front. Um... That does bring us down to Zika. Oh, Zika. Hi, Zika is standing, um, ten feet from the closest goblin, and forty feet from the farthest. Come on, Zika, and all so, to your last hope. So Zika's right? gonna go like right up to the one that's in front of Lucy. Uh, so it's just kind of passing right by. Um, so on an example, all right? Just, you have a pencil. I have a pencil. So, okay, yeah, we need a map. This is Zika? This is Zika. I'm gonna go right up to this goblin. So you're just gonna stand next to him? Yeah, and then he's gonna use his uh, short sword. Okay, make an immediate attack. 17, yeah, that hits. Okay, roll damage. Alright, that is a 1d6. So yeah. Well, this is just for me to mark for that. Five. five plus 5 is 10. As you can do this. <laughs> oh! Um, I don't have a whole lot of health. So, would he be able to actually, like, shove his uh, sword down the goblin's throat and then pull it out? So, you watch as <laughs> Zika, this little halfling, pulls a short sword out and runs. Doesn't he make much of a sound? He's small. But, um, he's actually just shorter than these goblins. Uh, he runs, and he ducks, he, like, runs. Like almost directly toward Lucy, and it just kind of shuffle steps and jumps up and just <laughs> right down his shoulder <laughs> and pulls it out. His goblins and just falls over. <laughs> Jesus! Yikes! You guys don't fuck around. No. <laughs> Wait until I get some kills. <laughs> oh. So is it Lucy or my turn? That will be Lucy's next. Lucy's turn. Yeah. Keep in mind the goblin in front of her just. Straight up, yeah, the goblin in front of her. She could watch as this happened. Just jumped around the floor, <laughs> shoved the sword down his, you know, down his chest. Okay, how close is she to me? 
she's standing right next to you. Yeah, she. Okay, she's, she's gonna. She's gonna. Friends. She's gonna attack the goblin that's in front of me. So she's gonna walk up. Um, so she's gonna she, go she, up move, she moves up five feet, and she's gonna take her battle hammer and make an attack. Go ahead, make me the attack. Three. Plus. I don't. It think doesn't that's matter. Gonna matter unless she has. No, I just want to see what it is. Which is plus what? Three plus hammer. Her attacks. Which is plus, you know, plus five. So that's so, eight. So I go mean, to swing, and this goblin raises his buckler. Oh, she's um nothing. I need a I need a shield. I don't like shields, but you're uh. making me like shields right now. <laughs> Oh, oh, I turn. Not that because does, they're missing, guess. but because it raises my... Yeah, it does bring us the ultra. So... Where did my attack go? You wait. You made your attack. Yeah, you took your katana and just right over his head. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so... It's... Okay, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this closer to you guys. So, oh, here I'm we go. Going to go. Here, have that. Up to goblin Don't number two. Don't look at my stuff. Okay. And attack with Bone Crusher. So you watch as this, this very, very well armed from armed human starts running and charging towards this other goblin right next to you and just pulls this giant club <laughs> and just goes to make a swing and make an immediate attack, please. That Nat is a natural oh, 20. Damn. So, Roll a 1d8 plus 1. No, that's not. Make everyone, make everyone your try. Roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your dice interfering could mess up your roll. So. That's three t plus one. So no, it's, uh, you add, so it's six plus one, because it's um your your strength modifier comes after it. Yeah, it's six plus. Your weapon damage oh, is critted. So it's so, seven. Um, how do you want to do this? <laughs> you just hit the damage. I am going to just. Bash his face. Just so you just swing. Watch this swing. thing. You go to swing. And this goblin's like, it goes to lift its shield, and your club just hits the shield, breaks through the shield, <laughs> and crushes into his face, and slams him on the ground. <laughs> um, not as flat, but he is. <laughs> he is dead. Oh. Um, I'm just a, dude, this is so the, the nastiest. That, so the two that were in front of you guys have been. I've ever heard. Just, just, just. Uh, you know what I would have done? Destroyed. I would have done it to the side and just like stuck my hammer into the side of his head. You're using just, a like, katana. Shit him off. Yeah, with, if I had your character. He has a club. I know. He threw into a tree trunk that was made into a club. That's what a great club <laughs> a is. Trunk. It's, it's a giant wooden club. Yeah, that requires two hands. How, yeah. how long is this thing? Uh, Four feet. Yeah. It, uh, it's heavy. It's heavy. It, yeah, it's Bone like Crush thick. was my great club. Yeah, um, from your past. Then I've also got that does bring us up to the goblins. Okay. Um. So there's only two left. Now do that you, do you want to scratch out the two that are dead? Because I don't want to get confused. Well, just yeah. scratch out one, this one right here. And the other one's dead. And uh, the other one's also dead. Oh yeah, move. You pretty much you pretty much moved into a space. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> now you two are in front of us. That's Zika. That's Zika. I, I'm pretty sure those goblins are going to be going after me and Zika now. Uh, you guys uh, are. Yeah. Um, they are particularly interested in you. <laughs> because you just showed brutality. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to both hit shots at you. Uh, okay, so... so first one. First one. Flashbacks to the wood. No, it doesn't hit. The first one goes to shoot at you and does it like you watch it just <laughs> Um the second one is also gonna shoot at you. You could have done a matrix, man. You can't that's do it matrix. now. It's over. You suck. Well there's still another chance. Well yeah, unless you and Zika kill him already. Or I do. Me and Lucy. Unless me and Lucy can, um... And the other one just misses. It's, they just... Ah, they're both a little startled. Dude, um, I have to put it over there so that my subscribers can listen. Um, so... Oh. Um, yeah, they both... They yeah. they both are a little terrified right now. Yeah. As you go to um, just... They just... They both just miss. One goes wide and the other one just goes by your head. 
Yeah. Uh, that does bring us to Thorn. Oh, okay. Alright, Thorn. Let's kill mm-hmm. some uh, bitches. So, yeah. so How the, far are they? They're, buffy, they're roughly 30 feet from me. Okay, can I switch out with my hand crossbow? I still Takes your bonus action, so yeah. Okay, and I'm 